Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Finally, I have some good news to report on the Draws hat. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so if you saw my last video uh, concerning the Draws hat, I believe that was titled uh, Draws, the Good and the Bad. I'll leave a link to that right up here at the top. You'll know that I said in that video that I was having uh, some issues getting a clean signal out of the draws unit. So I I've been able to capture that in video and I kind of wanted to go through that and walk through this and let you see what I've been seeing uh, as, I as I've been playing with this and then we'll tell you what I found and how to correct this. So what you're looking at is a remote station. Uh, so you'll see the call sign up here, N0JPD. That's my buddy Andy's station. And he was uh, kind enough to let me remote into his Raspberry Pi with JS8 call running on his end so that I could see my signal as I did the testing. And then in this window here, you actually can see my radio. So uh, red light obviously indicates transmit. Okay, now here's where I kind of got confused with things uh, and, and assumed that I had a problem that I really didn't have. Um, you see the red light transmitting here. Right here is the ALC indicator. Note that there is no ALC. So I wouldn't expect to see any splatter, any ghosting, uh, any nasty digital signal whatsoever. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit the play button right here on this video, and then we'll kind of talk about it. Uh, so you can see my signal starting to come in right there around 2,000 on the waterfall. And let me go ahead and hit the pause button right here. All right, so this is a signal that I'm sending out right here at 2,000 on the waterfall. Look at all of this other down here. Now, if I had a bunch of ALC in my signal, something like that, I would expect this to be here. Um, it, this was really puzzling to me because at times it would be worse than other times. Uh, and I had tried every audio setting that I could find in the draws in the draws hat uh, in the draws manager. Rather, uh, I, I played with all kinds of sound settings. Uh, in the software trying to get this resolved and just couldn't could not figure it out so i reached out to joe k0 og and joe was kind enough to help me uh doing some testing with this to try to figure out exactly what was going on and he was one that uh, ultimately helped me run down the problem that i that i was experiencing so we did some testing of my radios to make sure it was not putting out any extra spurious uh, things on the band going out with the, uh, with the audio from uh, JS8 Call. And that turned out to be negative. Uh, and the next thing he had me to do, or told me to do, was to take the audio straight out of uh, the draws hat and bypass the radio. So don't plug it into the data jack on the back of the radio, but rather plug that audio right into the incoming uh, port on another sound card on another computer. So I had uh, two Raspberry Pis sitting around, and I linked the two of them together. So I took the audio off of the draws hat, or coming out of it, and fed it right into... Um, the, the second Raspberry Pi. This way, we can bypass the radio altogether and have a clean RF environment while we're working. Uh, so the waterfall looks a little different than it normally would when you're hooked up to the radio, and that's the reason why we're taking, we're taking audio out of one and feeding it right into the other. So when we did this, uh, this is kind of what I saw during this test. Now, the audio, I think, was a little bit hot here uh, coming out, but you notice there's no extra junk over here on this side of the waterfall. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us the draws hat's doing what it's supposed to do. I've got another issue somewhere. And as much as it pains me to admit it, especially after the video that I just did uh, about the demon-possessed radio, 
You guessed it, RF. Now, at least this one wasn't self-induced. I didn't add two six-foot antennas to my sound card this time, so I didn't do anything quite that dumb. Uh, and and the, one of the reasons that this really uh, took me so long to figure out, and I might not have ever figured it out without Joe's help, the Draws hat is literally sitting within 12 inches of where my signal link always sits with my primary portable unit. So if the signal link's not having any problems with RF, I wouldn't have expected the Draws hat to have any issues either. The difference is the signal link is enclosed in a metal case. The Draws hat is sitting right out in the open, no enclosure whatsoever. It sits right on top of the Raspberry Pi. Bad thing is, right now, you can't even buy a ready-made metal case for it. So I'm probably going to have to explore making a case. So, for testing and a temporary fix, here was a solution. Yep, aluminum foil. Heavy duty, bun uh, doubled over two or three times. I wrapped the entire thing in it. Now, let's take a look at the audio signal coming out. Okay, so what you're looking at here is my draws, uh, the Raspberry Pi that's got the draws hat. You can see that right here, and you'll see my call sign, and in just a second, we're going to swap back over to Andy's uh, Raspberry Pi. We're going to remote back into it. Note that I'm up uh, just above 2,000 on the waterfall. All right, now we're looking at Andy's station as this signal starts to come through. And you can see that signal coming right here. Okay? There's nothing else going on down here in this portion of the waterfall. So, RFI is to blame for all of this issue I was having with not being able to get a clean signal out. Uh, this has been a, a long fault battle. I probably spent uh, six hours testing this thing uh, on a recent Saturday, but I am happy to report that I've got the audio issues resolved. The only thing that concerns me at this point is I got a lot of emails from guys after that first video saying that theirs was working fine. Uh, and as a matter of fact, even when I had the RF issues, uh, I was able to send a signal out uh, in JS8 and get, res or send a heartbeat out rather in JS8 and get responses back with SNR reports. Um, however, that didn't tell me that I had RF in my signal. And with this thing uh, being a bit more sensitive than other sound cards, I I'm wondering how many people are out there that actually have a very similar issue to what I have, maybe not quite as bad, and they don't even realize that it's going on. Uh, because unless you're looking at your signal from the other end or somebody tells you, well, it's, it's hard to see that. Now we can move forward and start playing with uh, getting other things configured and working with the Draws hat. So it'll, it, it's going to be a working process, but I'm really excited about this Draws hat now that I've got these audio issues worked out. And I'd really like to see this thing become my primary uh, portable device. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head out. And guys, we will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3. We did some tests on my radio, making sure that the radio itself wasn't emitting uh, any, you know, any craziness on, on the... Uh... Now, in this one, that's 
because it's not actually seeing any 